call us. What a Mark Keith. It's more to us. It's personal. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Labor Day sale is this weekend, Thursday through Monday. Unbelievable doorbusters are up to 60% off, starting at just $199. Summer's top furniture deals are here. This weekend, spend less, get more. Only at Ashley. There is a long-standing Labor Day tradition in Walker County, and the, tra and the tradition continues this year. We're talking about the Labor Day Car and Motorcycle Show, all to benefit the Stocking Full of Love. Sheriff Steve Wilson, Sergeant Bruce Coker are back this morning to get us revved up. Like the pun? Yes. <laughs> Good to see right. you. That's right. We're ready to go this Labor Day. We were trying to do the math in our heads. So how many years do we think this has been going on? We believe this is uh, the 36th second uh, car show, uh, motorcycle, truck, car show at the Civic Center. Uh, it's been around as long as I can remember. It came on about three years after the Stocking Full of Love started mm -hmm. as a way to uh, energize the community and to raise money. And uh, so we, early 90s, we started the car show there at the Civic Center. Uh, and it's always been on Labor Day. It'll be Labor Day again this year. Uh, registration will begin at 8 a.m. and go till 11.30. Uh, Pre-registration is 20 bucks and day of 25. The harder math, Bruce, would be to count the number of children you've helped over oh, the course of those years. Well, I mean, thousands, I'm sure. Yes, thousands. Uh, last year, it was a little over 1,300. And uh, uh, we don't ever know from one year to the next. 1,300 uh, children in Walker County who correct. you were able to help. So yes. when you go out there on Labor Day, if all you do is go to walk around and see the cars and get you a barbecue sandwich, mm -hmm. that it barbecue helps. sandwich is going to help. Yes, yeah, sure. That's Absolutely. amazing. We'll have uh, Wardlaw's Lucky IQ Barbecue, which is very famous in uh, North Georgia and surrounding areas. Uh, been around now for three or four years. Uh, the best barbecue in Georgia, I believe it was voted. So uh, I was uh, interested. You mentioned something about having a swap meet. Uh -huh. I didn't know what that meant, but I do now. So it's like a table set up where people are selling, is it used car parts or yeah, just any kind of car well, part? Well, yeah, the, the, there's different kinds of vendors that come and set up uh, tables and they pay for a spot to uh, show their items. You know, okay. most of the time it's car parts and different things that people would be interested in. So if you in. needed hubcaps for your car, you might yes, find them there. Exactly, you right. may find them there. It's kind of like, almost like a yard sale. That'd be going to the junkyard. Sale. That'd almost, be going to the junkyard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. You know, if you're looking for a 39, bumper for a Ford, you might find it there. Yeah. Who knows, you know. That's fun. But yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the heart behind it. You mentioned that the car show began about three years after Stocking Full of Love. You mentioned 1,300 children just last mm -hmm. year helped. Um, this economy is still a rough one. It is. I bet right. you're anticipating a high need. Uh, yes, we we definitely are. And the, and the problematic thing about all of that is the the inflation. The mm -hmm. inflation, we get caught up into that too, uh, even with toys, you know, uh, at that time of year. There's an inflated cost that we have to deal with. It, it once was that we didn't spend but about $30 per child. Now that has graduated. Oh. So there's more of a need, uh, definitely. So. Do you ever look, Steve, for partners with like toy stores or businesses to help make donations we, or anything? We do. Uh, we kick off our campaign, our capital campaign, uh, the first week of November. And we have a lot of corporate sponsors and individual sponsors that help us shore up where we may be lacking. And uh, we do that every November into de early December. And uh, businesses and corporations and individuals uh, have been a big boost over the years to help us sustain the fund. How is y'all set up? Refresh my memory. Is at Stocking Full of Love, do y'all distribute the toys or do the parents come to you and shop? We have a toy store. That's what I They thought. come to us and shop. The parents, uh, uh, per child, they all get three large gifts and stocking stuffers. So, you know, if there's three children, they're going to get nine gifts plus the stocking stuffers. And yeah. the parents or the guardians actually come to Oakwood Baptist Church in Chickamauga in December and actually uh, shop for the toys. Uh, we'll show them the age groups, boys, girls, and uh, we set up a gymnasium and it looks like a large retail toy store. So are they, do they have to sign up on a list or, or if they had a hardship befall them on 
November 15th, they can yeah. still come and shop. Yeah, Bruce mm -hmm. can tell you about that. So in the beginning of November is our application process and it's all done online at www.walkercountystockingfulloflove.com and you can register totally online uh, with, uh, uh, to receive the toys and once we get that application, it goes throughout the month of November. Okay. We'll process it and send it through the clearinghouse uh, for vetting and, and then we'll and the vetting process is just to make sure that there's not duplication of services. I think y'all should be on a great big billboard talking about the heart behind our law enforcement. So mm -hmm. thanks for this. I know it means well, a lot to your staff does. too mm -hmm. to get to be it a does. part of this. Sure. It, so. it helps a lot of people and uh, over the years it's, uh, you know, there's probably over, you know, 50, 75,000 children that we've helped, so. I, so let, I gotta let them know how to get to you. Okay. okay, so Labor Day, come hungry. Buy two barbecue sandwiches. It's all gonna go for a good cause. Uh, WalkerCountyStockingFullOfLove.org uh, is the website. The Walker County Civic Theater is the place to be in Rock Spring. The fun begins at what time on the 2nd? Uh, well, the registration starts at uh, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 8 and runs till there's no more food. That's right. Yeah. Thank you both. That's right. Thank you. Nothing brings us together like football and good food. Good luck, y'all. So we're firing up the grill with our new Steakhouse Bacon Burger and Steakhouse Patty Melt. Two all-beef patties, mushrooms, onions, and our signature steak sauce. Score Jack's new Steakhouse favorites today. So, how long have you lived here? Over 40 years. And how are the restaurants around here? Are they good, bad, meh? What's the average household income? Is there a mall? I don't know, a hair salon? Where do you get your hair done? You go move or what? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a lovely neighborhood. Marcy, we've got to go. I'm coming. We've got 17,000 more parks to visit. You want to give me a hand?